Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stay Wise. Since you all loved our 15 most dangerous kids toys ever, today we bring you part 3. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Alright then, let's dive in. Number 15. Toy Crossbows In China they started this trend of creating crossbows with toothpicks. However, the regulatory committee had to take them off the shelf for obvious reasons. These tiny spears could pierce a can more than 60 feet away. Despite being named a toy crossbow, it can still deliver fatal wounds and is still dangerous to your children. Number 14. Slingshots In the category of guns, we've got the slingshot. It definitely counts as a classic toy, but certain things may have been best left in the past. As recently as 2006, more than 100,000 of them were recalled by the CPSC after reports of blinding and broken teeth. Even in a form of water balloon, it may cause serious injury. Number 13. Air Balloons A balloon can well pop during inflation, which may frighten the infant or even make them deaf. In their panic, a child can unintentionally inhale and choke the fragments of a popped balloon. So make sure to check the quality of the balloon while you purchase them. Number 12. Toy Doctor's Kit or Kitchen Kit This is one of the favorites of kids as they like taking up the roles of adults. And while they use the kit tools during a medical procedure or baking experiment, they can end up with small pieces stuck in the nose or breathing passages. Number 11. Toys with Propellers Propeller toys are made for teenagers. Young children have not been able to manage such items properly and can easily get a finger in their working blades, since their hands are very fragile and make it cut easily. Number 10. Hobby Zone Super Cub SRC Aircraft the aircraft problems arise from the power supply units and the chargers used in the model itself. Approximately 6,800 units were affected, and the company confirmed 18 incidents of fire and property damage. Again, it's lucky that no lives have been lost. Still, considering the unpredictable nature of the events mentioned, it is easy to see how things could escalate out of control in the right set of circumstances. Instead of issuing a recall for the aircraft itself, the manufacturer supplies the faulty component with free replacements. Number 9. Kick Scooters A kick scooter or a push scooter or scooter is a human-powered street vehicle with a handlebar, a deck, and wheels driven by a rider driving off the ground. High-performance kick bikes made for adults look like an ancient penny farthing. Motorized scooters, traditionally powered by gas engines and more recently by electric motors, are self-propelled kick scooters capable of speeds of about 19 miles per hour. Kick scooters can be one of the most ubiquitous toys on the market, but they're also one of the most dangerous. The most common injuries that can be seen are arm or hand fractures and cuts as well as bruises, stains, and sprains, according to researchers with John Hopkins. Scooters don't vanish anytime soon, so experts emphasize the need for children to wear helmets as well as knee and elbow pads when riding. Number 8. Hoverboards Hoverboards. Who doesn't like to ride a hoverboard and fly away? Since the 2010s, hoverboard has become a common term for self-balancing scooters, but strictly speaking, such devices do not work. True hoverboards are usually represented as skateboard without wheels. The hoverboard idea has been used by writers in different media forms. Reports of self-balancing scooters collapsing during use prompted bans from city authorities and forced retailers to take them off the shelves. At the end of the day, 10 firms recalled more than 500,000 hoverboards after almost 100 warnings of fire-related incidents. Regulations have also been improved to make hoverboards even safer, notes CNET. Number 7. Trampoline A trampoline consists of a piece of taut, solid fabric stretched between a steel frame using a variety of coiled springs. Not all spring trampolines, as the spring-free trampoline uses glass-reinforced plastic rods. People are bouncing on trampolines for recreational and competitive purposes. The fabric that the consumer bounces on is not self-elastic. The elasticity is given by the springs that bind it to the frame that stores potential energy. These backyard favorites are amazing and have unparalleled favoritism, a great way for kids to burn some steam. But we shouldn't forget the fact that they caused almost 289,000 broken bone hospital visits between 2002 and 2011, and more than 1 million ER visits overall, researchers have found. Number 6. Toy Guns Toy guns are toys that resemble real firearms but are intended for fun or casual play by children, from hand-carved wooden replicas to factory-made pop guns. Toy guns come in all sizes, prices, and materials, 
such as wood, metal, plastic, or any combination thereof. You name it and it's there. Many newer toy weapons are brightly colored and curiously designed to keep them from being mistaken for actual firearms. Airsoft guns and pellet guns are especially unsafe. A researcher found a 500% spike in eye damage caused by toys between 2010 and 2012. Toy guns with foam darts and balls, think Nerf blasters and the like, are perennially common. But experts emphasize that even those still pose a safety risk, and doctors have reported eye injuries in people who have been fired in close range. Not to mention the use of these toy guns as they grow up, children tend to pick up that it's alright to use guns in day-to-day -day life, which in later life can be bad. Number 5. Yo-Yo Balls You can get a hold of them for just about $5 or less. It's colorful. Fluid-filled balls made of stretchy, rubbery material are imported from China and Taiwan. The ball is tied to a bungee-like rope with a finger loop at the end of it. It's plain to see why they're so hot with the kids that they love to wave around their heads like a lasso. The rope stretches as they do so. You'll be able to stretch about 6 feet. As the ball is lowered, the cord can be wrapped around the leg. Some parents and officials were crusading for a ban in the early 2000s over fears that the cord could pose a risk of strangulation, that the liquid inside could be harmful, and that the entire toy could be ultra-flammable. The U.S. Consumer Product Protection Commission refused to recall or ban toys, but several states and stores stopped selling them. New toy guidelines also restrict the cord to a shorter length, minimizing the possibility of strangulation. Number 4. Water Beads Firstly, an important note, water beads are not a toy to play with. Keep in mind that it shouldn't be used with infants, toddlers, or unsupervised children. There are serious health implications if a child swallows beads of water. Colorful water beads are unquestionably mesmerizing. Made of super absorbent polymers, they expand and grow up to 200 times their original size when put in water. Unfortunately, that means bad news for the children who eat it. An 8-month-old had surgery to remove a ball that had grown to block the intestines. While some water bead brands were recalled at the end of 2012, they are still on the shelf, mainly in craft shops and garden centers. Number 3. Fidget Spinners A fidget spinner is a device consisting of a ball bearing in the center of a multi-lobed, usually two or three flat, metal or plastic framework built to rotate around its axis with very little effort. Fidget spinners became popular toys in 2017, but similar gadgets had been invented as early as 1993. The toy has been marketed to support people who have difficulty concentrating or others who may need to fidget to alleviate nervous energy, anxiety, or psychological stress. It is believed that a fidget spinner can help relax people who have anxiety and other neurological conditions, such as ADHD and autism. The astronomical success of fidget spinners certainly gained the toy increased scrutiny, including a spot on the Toy Watchdog Organization's safety study. Kids will pop the metal bearings out of the spinners and swallow anything that has happened at least twice. As if that wasn't enough, Target pulled some fidget spinners out of the shelf in November because they had extremely high lead levels. Number 2. Bounce Houses Inflatable castles, also known as bouncing castles, bouncing homes, bouncing castles are temporary inflatable structures and buildings and similar objects that are rented for events, school and church festivals, and village festivals and used for entertainment particularly for children. The increase in the use of such devices has led to a rental industry that includes inflatable slides, obstacle courses, and sports. Inflatables are great for portable entertainment since they're easy to transport and store. According to the CPSC, inflatable bounce houses remain a favorite in the backyard, but they were also a trap for injuries of more than 17,000 alone in 2013. There have also been reports of poorly staked bounce houses floating in the wind with children inside. Moreover, many states do not control them, and those who frequently impose legislation are haphazardous. Number 1. Kite Tubes Kite tubing, literally a mashup of parasailing and water tubing, was a short-lived phenomenon on the lakes of the nation in the mid-2000s. Driven far enough by a boat, the kite tubes will be airborne, but kite tubes proved difficult to use safely at least three users died and hundreds were seriously injured.